Let us solve some questions on time and work. This is our first question. A does a work in 10 days and B does the same work in 15 days. In how many days they together will do the same work? So A does the work in 10 days. So the work done by A in one day will be equal to 1 by 10. Right. Now B does the same work in 15 days. So the work done by B in one day is equal to 1 by 15. Now we have the time frame as same. What we can do is we can calculate the work done by both A and B in one day. The work done by A and B in one day is actually the addition of these two works. So 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15. And that will be equal to 5 by 30 and that is 1 by 6. So in one day, work done by both A and B is 1 by 6. So what will be the time when these both A and B complete the work? That is the total work becomes 1. So let's solve this traditionally. We have work done and days. So the work done is 1 sixth in one day. The total work is 1. What is the number of days? And that's what is asked. So this is directly proportional so we can equate. So we have x is equals to 6 if you solve it. So the total number of days that will be required if A and B work together will be 6 days. So the answer is option B. A can finish a work in 18 days and B can do the same work in half the time taken by A. Then working together what part of the same work they can finish in one day? Well, A can finish the work in 18 days and B can do the same work in half the time taken by A. So half the time taken by A is basically 9 days. So now we have the values. This question becomes similar to the previous question. A can finish the work in 18 days. So work done by A in one day is equal to 1 by 18. And B can finish the work in 9 days. So the work done by B in one day is equal to 1 by 9. Now that we have the time frame same, we can calculate the work done by them working together. So work done by A and B working together is equal to the addition of the works done by them separately. So 1 by 18 plus 1 by 9. And this work is done in one day. And that is what which has been asked. So this is equal to the LCM of the denominators is 18. So we have 1 plus 9 times 2 is 18. So 2. So this is 3 by 18. And that is 1 by 3, 6 are 18. So option A is the correct answer. A, B and C complete a piece of work in 24, 6 and 12 days respectively. Working together, they will complete the same work in how many days? Well, A, B and C complete the piece of work in 24, 6 and 12 days respectively. So we can calculate the total work done by A, B and C working together in one day. Well, let us write it first. This will be equal to the work done by A in one day, the work done by B in one day, the work done by C in one day, the sum of these. So the work done by A in one day will be equal to 1 by 24 because A completes the work in 24 days. Plus the work done by B in one day will be 1 by 6 plus the work done by C in one day will be equal to 1 by 12. Now the LCM is 24. So we have here 24 in the denominator. We have 1 plus 6 times 4 is 24. So 1 plus 4 plus 12 times 2. So plus 2. This is basically equals to 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 by 24. So in one day they do this much amount of work. And what is asked? We have been asked in how many days will they complete the work. So we have work done and days taken and this is proportional. So in one day we have the work done as 7 by 24. So the complete work done which is assumed to be 1 
will be done in how many days so we can take the proportion of this so we get x equals to 24 by 7 now none of our options look similar to this well if you evaluate this further let's evaluate this further we have 24 and 7 so 7 3s are 21 and the remainder is 3 so this is 3 3 by 7 and that's our answer option C a man can do a piece of work in five days but with the help of his son he can do it in three days in what time can the son do it alone well a man can do a piece of work in five days this means that the amount of work he does in one day is equal to 1 by 5. Now it is given that with the help of his son he can do it in 3 days. Well this means that if they work together they complete the work in 3 days. So the work done by both of them in one day will be equals to 1 by 3. Right. Now we want the work done by the son. Let's calculate first the work done by the son in one day which will be equals to the work done by both of them in one day minus the work done by the man right so 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 and that gives you 5 minus 3 by 15 and that's 2 by 15 so in one day 2 15th of the work so in how many days will he complete the total work well as we have seen from our previous problems this value if we invert this if we take the reciprocal we get the total number of days in which the person can complete the work so the time taken by the son to complete the work will be equals to 15 by 2 and that's seven and a half right so option c is the correct answer